Hello and welcome to polyplane.com. Today we're doing a plugin review, so if you don't use Rhino, that's not going to be very helpful for you, but you might just get so excited about this plugin that you'll break down by Rhino and spend the rest of your life just messing around with this plugin. It's so cool and I'm so excited to review it. It's called T Splines, it's been out for a couple of years, and um, what it does is it makes these cool boxes. Eh? Look at that. No, it doesn't. It actually, this is the non-smoothed preview of this shape. Look at that. So if I hit create and just pop out a box, it makes these funky round boxes. Well, that's a real oversimplification of what it does. So you'll notice there's all these new toolbars here, and this is all part of T-Splines. Uh, I'm using version three, and it is the trial. I haven't purchased it, but I'm about to after all the cool things I've seen, and I've been using the, uh, the previous version for a long time. They've added a few new features that are just so cool, and I'll get to those in a second. I've got this box here, which is based on a mesh box, okay? So this is a control cage for this shape. Control cage, smooth shape, got it? Cool. And I can select between the vertices, which you can see are the part of the control cage here. I can move this around all arbitrarily like. I can move the edges, so I can click on one, click on another, and uh, then maybe take the scale tool here and just blow it out. It's pretty cool like that. And what I use the most is actually the face tool. So with the manipulator or the modifier on, excuse me, it actually allows you to select individual faces. Now, why is this cool? Because I can take this individual face here and subdivide it again. Actually, I did that wrong. Um, I'm going to take just those and subdivide them. It's just subdivided this face into a, a lot more faces. And this is cool because it then means that I can take one of these with the move tool on, hold alt and drag the up arrow here, and I can start pulling points. Now, um, I'm gonna unsubdivide for a second and do that same operation. And it's created actually more faces. So now I'm gonna do this again. And what you can see happening here is it's, it's adding geometry. Um, which is nothing new for people who do polygonal modeling, but this is really cool because it means that you can get really super organic forms really quickly. This plugin is a great reflection of why I made this site. This site is not about software. It's about having fun 3D modeling. And I gotta tell you, if there's a plugin you wanna get to have fun with, T-Splines is it, absolutely. You can get T-Splines at tsplines.com and guess what they make it for SolidWorks and Rhino so you should definitely go to the site and uh, download the demo and check it out so going back to our model for a minute here this is I don't know this is some sort of arm or anything but what if I wanted to just delete one of these faces now I'm gonna select the uh, object selection so I'm selecting the whole tspline surface which actually that's a good point to note. If you look in your object properties, it'll come up as a T-spline surface, not a poly surface. This is not a, a NURBS object yet. I'll get to that. And I hit thicken, which is right here in the, in the modifier. I can actually define a thickness to this. And then, oh, look at that. It has a wall thickness. Now here's the kicker. I can then take this object and right click and guess what? This is now a NURBS object, which means that I can g come in here and I will blow your mind. I'm going to make a, uh, a cylinder here. Oh, and by the way, with T-splines, you can have it so that the T-splines modifier affects regular objects. So this will this will act as a scaling tool. Um, you can use it for moving, so I can then move this into place. And also it has a rotation uh, selector too. So anyway... I can now select this new NURBS object that was made by a T-spline surface and start cutting into it. And you can do all of your normal Boolean operations and check that out. It's got a wall thickness. Fillet edge. I don't even know what scale I'm using right now. But if I had to guess, I'd say it'd be good enough for that fillet. And check that out. I just made this crazy wonky surface in like three seconds and was able to add a Boolean operation to it. So what's cool about this is now I can, you know, go 3D print this or if you can find a crazy machinist, uh, machine this out of steel and put it on your front lawn and who knows what it is. So the other cool thing about T-Splines is, and this is specific to version 3, is 
it has a pipe command that is unlike anything you'll you'll see in the rest of Rhino. So I'm just gonna duplicate a curve a couple of times. Then I'm gonna rotate this one around. And then I'm just gonna click the pipe command and all these cool little you know, intersection points will come up and I'm not gonna get into the details of how this all works because there's dozens of tutorials on how to and I just wanna show you guys the what the heck of this plugin because it's so awesome. So I'm gonna set the radiuses to 1.5 and then hit enter and let this cook first and check that out. It's got all these crazy cool intersections going on. Um, and by the way, because this is still a T-spline surface, I can come back to my selection tool and I'm gonna select some points here and just pull them out like I did before where I was extruding stuff. Yeah, you can do that with these surfaces too. So check that out. I don't know what this thing is. It's some sort of weird piece of jewelry. I don't know, it might be kind of neat. But jewelry designers actually have been fawning over this thing for the last couple of years because of the fact that it lets you do super organic stuff really quickly and uh, with very little trouble. Uh, the symmetry tools in it are amazing. Uh, it has a lot of great thickening stuff. I obviously have just been messing around with this for, or at least the pipe tool for a limited time here because you can see how the uh, how that blend came together. Not so great there, um, but overall, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And then again, this whole thing is an, an object that can be then turned right into a NURBS object, which you can then, you know, 3D print or fabricate or heck even, you know, export out uh, as an OBJ file to like Element 3D or ZBrush or whatever. So it's a really cool organic modeling system built within Rhino. Uh, so you get all the power of the surfacing tools that Rhino offers with all of the hyper organicness that uh, T-Splines offers. So it's a really great way to produce some super dynamic surfaces really check this thing out. It's it's really great. Uh, we just got our first couple submissions for the monthly modeling challenge uh, that I posed last month. Reminder on the 10th, which is in a couple days from uh, when this video is going to be posted over at Novage.com. We're going to be doing the webinar for the lamp. Uh, so I want you to check that out. That's my recommendation. If you're going to do the lamp contest, I highly recommend you watch that because I'm going to be demoing. Um, and remember, just because I'm demoing some funky lamp doesn't mean that you have to produce some funky lamp because I'm not I'm not judging it. Yeah, you guys are going to be judging the winner. So check that out. It's at novage.com uh, slash webinar slash 56. I'll give you all the details. Registration's totally free, but do register fast because spaces are limited. So it'll be really great. And uh, I'd love to see you on there. I'll be answering questions live with, um, I believe Kevin is uh, the host on that one. So check it out. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to keep on futzing with this thing because I just want to make some crazy cool table or whatever with it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.